Hey guys, welcome to Bella Bliss. On 9th April, Ashna and Addy shared an Instagram story announcing their separation from Damfan. She wrote, With so much time to revisit memories and go back and figure what happened, I have chosen to just find my peace. And as sad as it is, my peace exists outside DF. Even though we haven't really spoken into years, it still doesn't feel normal and I'm sure it's not for all of you too. It's a big change because it was a big part of my life. You guys know it all, you've seen it all. It's extremely difficult because I also feel like we're letting a lot of people down. If someone told me two years back that I won't be speaking to anyone I would have laughed it off. I haven't spoken out in so long because I fear being misunderstood. Because the last time I did, it brought so much negativity. That lasted for so long. It still lingers behind sarcastic comments that people make too. I'm just not okay to put myself through that again. I just feel like apologizing to any of you that I've let down. I just have to choose what makes me feel happy and I hope you know that it's taken very long for me to decide to put myself first. There's just so much guilt that comes with it. But I just want to be honest to myself. To end this I'd like to mention that there's no communication gap from my end, I have conveyed my feelings to whoever it concerned, there were no fights involved, just sharing feelings. I came out feeling like there was a big wall in the middle and it was going nowhere. Even as a friend, I always kept my priorities very clear, even in a big group, and those who know, know. What upsets me is that one particular person has made multiple videos on the same topic which at this point looks like it is to run their own narrative. Making statements like they've reached out 500 times and we've never responded? I'd love to see that person's messages where they've apparently reached out. This person didn't even check on me when I was going through a bad time dot 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 in front of them. Because of their videos, and even now every time they make a video, a new wave of hate follows on all of my social media accounts. On my YouTube videos, on my posts, in my DMs. I have just not said anything hoping that one day this topic will be put to rest. If you don't like me or don't want to follow me, that's okay. I am comfortable with being misunderstood at this point. I'm not sure if people want to know what happened or just want a scapegoat to blame it all on. But there's nothing more to say. There's no one person to catch hold off. Friendship goes both ways. At some point everyone feels like they don't connect with someone like they used to. The more you try to force it, the more artificial it feels. And with time you learn that sometimes it's okay to let go and not put the pressures of letting people down on your shoulders. In this case, letting all of you down, I'm sorry. Let's remember the good times for what they were. Moving forward I'm just going to try that I don't involve a lot of my personal life on social media which is kind of hard to do because the lines are so blurry, but we'll try. If you got this far, thanks for being patient, if you've stayed with me all this while, I love you. I read all the DMs the good and bad. And all the good ones just undo all the damage the bad messages have done. So thank you. And this is what Eddie said. Too much has been going on since a very long time now, I didn't think that it was important to talk or speak about it publicly, I understand. The fact that our friendship has been public since a very long time and those who are following us from the beginning are asking for a few answers. I just feel like it is very normal to drift apart from a particular environment or a bunch of people. If you don't feel wanted or comfortable. If we are not speaking about this particular topic it doesn't mean that we are on the wrong. It is just the situation and how people are trying to take advantage of it. I almost got used to the hate I was getting and then I realized that it is not healthy for me and if I compare the hate that I am getting with the hate that Ashna is getting, it is thrice as much. And it's making our lives very difficult, just because we don't want to talk about it and just want to carry on with our lives doesn't mean that we don't have anything to say. It is just our choice to stay quiet and not drag this topic anymore. Sometimes I felt left out and I was also hurt because of a few things that people said but then I moved on and eventually we drifted apart, this is the most I will ever speak about it. Live and let live. GN
Although it's unfortunate to see them split ways, let's remember all the good times they had together and wish them the best in their own respective paths from here on.